There are many sports teams here at California State University Northridge, most of which have a solid foundation that provides a steady flow of talented athletes and a fan base on campus. There is, however, one program that struggles to find either players or fans. The CSUN roller hockey program has been around for seven years and enjoyed minimal growth and interest. That mediocre process left the team stagnant and finally led to a disastrous 2012-2013 season. Yeah, yeah. We all had a pretty upsetting year last year. We got spanked on our third to last tournament, so then we all were not motivated to go to Chico. But then again, Chico was really far. I don't even want to talk about last season. <laughs> so we were in last place once again for the third season in a row. <laughs> we didn't get last. <laughs> Oh no, we got we, second to last. We, we got second to <laughs> last last season. WCRHL heads penalized CSUN Roller for missing a tournament by excusing them from the remainder of the season. This penalty left the team with six remaining players, no coach, and no leaders. Things were looking bleak, and next year was looking non existent. One man stepped forward. Current president William Cornell reignited the program. I knew if uh, I got involved, I could probably put this team back on the map. With the help of one other, they were able to begin rebuilding. We redid the whole team. We have six returners, so we had to get new players. We had to replace half the team. We also replaced the coach to get a little bit more, uh, I would say, uh, get more grunt in the front. But that wasn't the only problem from last year's team. Cornell mended the relationship with WCRHL, and the program has completely reinvented itself. CSUN Roller now has an online presence which includes a fast-growing social media following on Facebook and Instagram, a professionally built website that sees daily traffic. The program also is reaching out into its community and has a growing network of sponsors that includes a sports consulting firm and local hockey rinks. Perhaps most importantly, the club has a bevy of new skaters. Even with this growth, the team was still without a coach or a place to practice. Cornell found a part-time CSUN professor for the coaching position. Yes, my name is Aaron Weinstein and I'm currently the head coach for CSUN Roller Hockey. Coach Weinstein has his own philosophy for winning. The way I like to coach is not to focus on wins and losses too much, more as getting better and better as a team, because I believe that if you just focus on that, the wins are going to come naturally. The players are receiving Weinstein's coaching style in stride. He's a good guy, knowledgeable about hockey. Seems like he uh, knows what he's doing. Awesome. He really knows how to run a practice. He can really uh, get everyone into shape, I feel. Seems like a guy that can rally the team up, and I think we're right on that. He's obviously running a pretty hard practice, which is definitely what we need. A team roster with a coach is still missing one thing. Uh, right now, we're working on trying to get a, uh, a rink for the team. Owner and operator of North Hollywood Hockey, J.D. Dorfman, was able to fill that void. We want to give CSUN its very own hockey rink, something where they can say, go watch your matadors play hockey, you know, within 10 minutes of the campus. Uh, I mean, I know when I went to CSUN, if that was available and that was an opportunity, it would have been a dream come true. Dorfman is letting the team practice on his rink, but his and Cornell's aspirations are much higher. They are working towards making the North Hollywood hockey facility CSUN's home rink. I want to make sure we do everything right. So we're, we're getting together, you know, the community and we're putting together a proposal and we're going to go to uh, the CSUN administration. A well-crafted proposal will warrant a donation to transform the North Hollywood Hockey Rink into California State University left, Northridge's rink. Now with the foundation in place, everyone is feeling good about their upcoming season. Uh, I'm incredibly excited. Uh, we actually have a lot more talent than I think people would give us credit for and we may have had in the past. We've added a few new additions, so I would say that we're going to be very competitive this year. We're putting CSUN on the map, dude. Roller hockey, CSUN, they'll know it. So we're going to have a solid team. Looks like we have a lot of players who know what they're doing out there. Can't wait to play. Oh, we're going to win. Oh, Nationals? Where is that? We're going to Florida? We're, gonna, we're taking this thing. <laughs> Go Matadors. Yeah. <laughs> the team is currently preparing for their season opener in San Jose on October 19th. This is James Jewett in Northridge, California for Valley View News.